Good morning, Aquarius. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know where it is for you, but I am bringing you your individual zodiac tarot spread for, I think the thumbnail said 19th to 21st. I was trying to get them all up and give myself a couple days to do it. And, um, but I'm thinking it's like the 22nd by the time I get this one up. Oh, well, happy solstice to you. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, for those who celebrate, happy Hanukkah. This uh, 22nd is the first night Hanukkah. So, that being said, I am. Uh, this is a general reading for the collective of Aquarians, so it will not speak to everybody. And uh, I know I... Every now and then I trigger some folks, so if I trigger you, I apologize. I'm just bringing, I'm just the messenger. Um, welcome to the new subscribers. If you are brand new to the channel, take a look around in the playlists. Uh, see if you find any titles that speak to you. Most of the readings are not date specific, so even though I say when I'm uploading them, um, unless I specify that it's just for that time, it. When it reaches you, if it's your message, if it's your message, okay? Um, I'm going to start today with just one card for you, Aquarius, from the Magdalene Oracle, only because I'm feeling the Christmas spirit. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck with gorgeous artwork, and the, the messages are very deep and profound. So please give me a message for Aquarius. What message is coming through for Aquarius today? Okay, let's see what we have. Mm, interesting. Gosh, this kind of feels Aquarian energy to me. Mythic reality. I'll hold it up again in a second. Let me read this one to you. Mm, here we go. Something is causing you concern at present because you are viewing the situation from only one perspective. Look with an open heart and mind, and you may see that a positive side also exists. Things may very well turn in your favor if you let go of preconceived ideas and rigid views. There are at least two perspectives from which to view every situation. What you see at present is only part of the picture. Often, what seems real to us may not necessarily be what is actually occurring. The true purpose of many of life's events is often unclear because of our false assumptions, fears, and misconceptions. There is no need for concern. Just allow things to naturally unfold and all will become clear to you. Remember, you may not have the power to change the world or many of the events in your life, but you have the power to change your perception of them. All becomes clear when I view it from a higher perspective is your mantra for the day. Aquarius, this is your message because you are the leaders of world change, right? Dawning of the age of Aquarius. So that's a perfect message for you. Um, if something doesn't seem clear, try to look at it from the other, the other side. Good message. Now I'm going to read uh, two cards, one for you and one for your divine counterpart from Wisdom of the Oracle. If you, um, This is for you. If you are in connection with somebody, you might be in separation from them. Um, you could be in union, or if you have no one in your life presently, but you're interested to know more about Twin Flame Soulmate Journeys, um, this may be speaking to who's coming on your path. So let's see what we get. This is for your divine counterpart. They get time to go in reverse. Hmm. And you get exchanging gifts in reverse. This reminds me of when I was a little girl, I had a pink jewelry box with a little ballerina that would pop up when I opened it. Doesn't that, isn't that cute? Brings me back to my childhood. And it's interesting because this card for them, time to go in reverse, is 45, 4 and 5 is 9, and you get card 27, 2 and 7 is 9. So numerologically, you're both really in sync, and 9s are about completions, completing a lesson. 10, we get to put it aside and start a new cycle, but you're completing a lesson here at the same time, so I like that. That's just a hint of things to come, I'm hoping. 
45 in reverse protection message for time to go. Even if it appears, this is for your divine counterpart, even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later, so consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. Wheel of fortune. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. I felt a lot of Wheel of Fortune energy there. You have card 27, exchanging gifts in reverse. Okay, here we go. Aquarius, remember, hang with me here. Be careful what you pray for because you just might get it and then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay, though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic, or holding on to a false sense of control. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. This time has come to distance, the time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good in getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. This balance of equal give and take feels like Six of Pentacles. We'll see if that comes out. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles energy there. Okay, let's let's jump right in. And again, um, this is just, I'm just going to look at the two of you up close and personal here. And then in the extended, I'll look more at the connection. I am using a brand new deck. It is the pre-Raphaelite deck. It has really gorgeous, this is temperance. This is really gorgeous, like 16th century Italianate artwork. I think I had a previous life in that period because I'm just so attracted to all of it. The architecture, the art, the literature. So this one's easy to... Um, shuffle because they're thinner they're actually narrower here and the cards themselves are a little thinner oh i did not want that i'm going to shuffle again i hope you're all getting ready to enjoy the holidays if you're watching this at the time it's posted happy hanukkah merry christmas happy new year okay so we have they are coming through with three of swords, broken heart. I'm kind of getting the feeling here. And you are two of wands looking out. I mean, this is uh, choosing your path. And um, I like to say about that, what I like to say about that is that there isn't a right or wrong path, but one is better for you. And that's, that's what's important right now. Past energy for this person, and I'll hold the cards up, um, is... The hanged man present is eight of wands. They may be communicating to you frantically at this point. And then we have knight of wands in the future. For you, your past energy here is the world, endings and new beginnings. Yes. Present energy, seven of pentacles. It's not the six like I thought, but it's, um, it's planting the seeds and being patient, waiting for something to grow. And then the future is Knight of Pentacles. So you are moving forward in your life here, Aquarius. You're just going to do so at a slower pace. I think it's good. Um, this, this to me says that you're serious, that you there's something you want to manifest. And you're, um, you're letting the universe know what you want by 
setting your intentions and then letting go of the uh, attachment to the outcome. That's what this feels like to me. And so you'll move forward, but maybe slower than you're used to. Because you just came through a period where you ended a cycle and something new is beginning and it feels like you're making a shift in the way you approach it. That's just my my gut instinct from the from the main cards here. This person, look at that card, three of, of swords. Wow. Um, so they're heartbroken right now. They're feeling it, uh, this endings and new beginnings. And they were in this hanged man mode. They, this was, there was a delay here for them. Something, um, um, this is self-imposed. They took no action. They took no action. Something happened. They took no action. They were trying to look at things from a different perspective. They really were, but they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. And now they're trying to communicate. And it's it feels frantic to me. And in the future, here is the little um, Knight of Wands. They are going to come toward you with passion or toward somebody with passion. That is, I'll, I'll tell you the energies here. I see swords energies. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're coming through here with um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. The world is Aquarius and Capricorn, so you show up here, and then we have Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They come in with the um, hanged man is Pisces, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, and then we have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. So there's a little mix of everything, but um, you do show up in your reading right here. And look, world is on the bottom. That's the underlying energy, endings and new beginnings. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I, uh, I get the impression you took that 1212 portal <laughs> reading, <coughs> full moon and Gemini reading very seriously and decided to change course. You, Aquarians, you did not really like my reading last time. The response wasn't that great. But it looks like you heeded the message. Why is Three of Swords here for the Divine Counterpart? And you can feel free to flip these around, just so you know. If you feel this is really your energy and this is the other person, that's fine. Okay, they, um, Three of Swords and Chariot on top. That's Cancerian energy. Page of Pentacles trying to give you... Um, they want to move forward with you, and this is a small offer that they're putting on the table, something tangible that you would recognize. It's nothing big, but um, you would recognize it as something uh, meaningful between the two of you, tangible. Um, it could be a literal gift coming in at the holidays of something that you might have mentioned you like or you wanted. Uh, and I'll, I'll pull one more on this. They want to tell you. See, this is pages are messengers. They want to. They they don't just want to tell you. They want to show you how they're transforming. They they're letting you know I am I am transforming. I I can change. I want to be different. That is a period of transformation, and I feel like that's what they're trying to say um, energetically here. We have the hanged man. Why is the hanged man here in the past for this person? Yeah, because they couldn't make a decision. They were indecisive. They were indecisive. And that did not work for you. Ten of Swords. So things, you know, they were indecisive. They couldn't kind of get off the block. Um, now I think they're telling you they're ready to move toward you. Chariot. They're trying to get a message to you about how they, they are changing that that's the old them, there's a new them, and they're communicating with you right now. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yes, there's the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. What did I tell you? They're trying to tell you this is like, listen, this is it. The, we're destined to be together. You're my person. They're feeling the power of the connection right now. They're letting go of the wheel and turning it over to fate. But they're trying to tell you about it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Knight of Wands is here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yes. 
coming towards you with an apology and then the fool. They want to take the leap of faith. So here's, here's what's coming in the future, just so you know. They are going to come back your way. They're going to cycle through again. This is Aries Leo Sag, emphasis on Sag energy here. And um, with a message of apology. So they're coming toward you with passion. Um, they will apologize for whatever went wrong here at, or, and or just give you a message of love. But I'm feeling the apology. I'm feeling the apology because of that transformation. And then they're going to say, I'm ready to take a leap of faith. Let's do this. I'm ready to go. Let's, let's have a fresh start, a brand new beginning. So that is really what's happening with them and the energy that I feel is coming forward. In the extended, I'll look at the, the connection, but I'll also look at a message to you from spirit, maybe some guidance or advice that you might find helpful. A message to you from this person. The energetic message you want to give this person and then we'll look at the outcome so that's what i'm going to cover in the extended just so uh you know what's coming there two of wands for aquarius two of wands about the future picking their path and a lot of choices this is a lot to process seven of cups so you're really thinking things through. It might be a little emotionally overwhelming. Um, you, you are manifesting something better for yourself. In the end, that's what you want is something better. You have all the tools at your disposal, Aquarius, to manifest that which you desire. It's true. So now we have world on world. I know I kept this out, but I just felt like it was confirmation. Why is the world here? For Aquarius in the past, endings and new beginnings. Yeah, you walked away. Whatever was going down here, I don't know if it was emotional drama. I feel like it was because of this Seven of Cups. But if it wasn't emotional drama, it was just not, not em emotionally fulfilling enough for you. So think of it this way, Aquarius. If what you really want is to find the path to your twin, let's just say, I'm just using this as an example, and you discover this person was not that. Because what we all want in a relationship is that Ten of Cups experience, right? The whole, like a life partner, ultimate emotional fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Well, here we've got Eight Cups. This person is walking in search of their two of cups, that soulmate. So then the two and the eight makes ten. That's how I interpret this card for you in this particular setting. Not that this person wasn't a good person or not. Maybe they aren't. Maybe they really caused, kicked up a lot of emotional drama that you just didn't want to deal with Aquarius because you've got bigger, better things to do and broader horizons. But the energy I'm feeling is you're really in search of your two of cups. And so you, you're like, yeah, eight's not good enough. I want 10. I'm going to go find the two. So that's what I feel happened. Um, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments and be gentle because I'm just delivering the messages the best way I know how. And uh, But I see that now you've planted seeds for something bigger that's seven of pentacles whoopsie sorry that was my phone this popped out i don't like it i was looking at the seven of pentacles but it popped out over here i'm gonna leave it right here i feel like there's a tie here and the reason why I'm feeling that is this uh, time to go was talking about destiny. And um, I feel this person may have difficulty letting go. So if I'm right, I'm just going to leave that there. If I'm wrong, it doesn't feel like it was meant for there. It just popped out right here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles in the present energy. That's bizarre. I don't do reversals, and this card is reversed. It's the only one that's reversed. So, 
now I have to read the reversal because it's significant. Normally, this is emotional detachment. Um, it can be rejection. It's like you're just emotionally disengaged in reverse. It's like, no, I'm all in. I want something very emotional, um, emotionally fulfilling. It, it, it's like... Um, See here how this person is focused on what they don't have, looking at the Three of Cups when this Ace is coming at them. In reverse, it's, it is you're aware of what you have. It is more about the emotional gratitude, wanting something more fulfilling. Planting the seeds, waiting for it to grow, being very patient because you do want something, you want emotional connection. Wow, interesting. Tell me more about... Do you see what's going on here? Yeah, five of swords. There was something, something here is, maybe this was meant for that. I'm struggling with this and you know in all fairness I don't get jumpers that often I've gotten two now and one reversal all around this energy here for you Aquarius so I will leave this here um, I'm allowed to change my mind I do feel there's there's a there's a karmic tie here there's something that you're not ready to let go of even though you walked away endings new beginnings there are seeds planted here, and there's a, a, an element of patience of waiting for something to grow and evolve and take root and, and, and manifest in the here and now in 3D. And that this is karmic energy here, and then on top of that would have been this Four of Cups reverse, so maybe you are, you are waiting for the emotional connection to... To grow and it feels to me like some some energy here is I'm gonna win this at all cost and I feel like you are tied you are you're feeling that pull to this person who isn't who isn't oh I have it backwards here who isn't quitting so easily see they're not giving up so easily and it feels to me like their energy may be coming over here into your present because they're telling you there's all this communication, Aquarius. There's all this back and forth between the two of you. And this person is saying, we're destined to be together. I am your person. You're my person, right? That's right present energy. And I feel it's working. I feel like you're being patient, probably with them, but also with yourself and saying, maybe I need, I feel so karmically tied to this person. Maybe I, you know, I'll be more emotionally available and engaged and, take a closer look because this person is just to me this is the unfair fight card now that you can take it literally like two people having an argument and somebody goes low and says something disparaging or, or, or hits you where it hurts it can be that energy it can also just be like an unfair fight in terms of the emotional pull right if they're playing upon your heartstrings and it's working, if they're playing upon your desire for this twin connection, right? And, the, and you've already walked away and they're saying, no, we belong together and it's starting to work on you. There's a little bit of an unfair fight there too because it's, it's a tactic. So the more you know. I am going to leave it here now because this was crazy energy just around that card jumpers and calm down <laughs> okay in the future we have knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles see the energy is totally different now knight of pentacles in the future for aquarius yes this is i have got this man look Moving to the twin, 1111. This is the twin flame card from my perspective. Not all readers say that. I feel this is. It is life partnership. This is a card, many readers say it's a card of a marriage proposal or a wedding ceremony. But for me, 
at its core because of the types of readings I do. It is the Twin Flame card. You are moving slowly. In the future, you will move toward it slowly. That's why this Seven of Pentacles is here, but you're feeling the pull. You are feeling the pull, and you are starting to become a little bit more emotionally engaged. That's because they're working on you with that Eight of Wands, and it isn't really fair the way that it's going, but hey, maybe you pulled away too soon. I don't know. I, don't, I am not seeing this person in a bad light right now. I feel they're making an honest effort to change. I will, no, I will know more in the extended. But for now, um, I feel that you are responding to their... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? They are, I, I want to say like they're working you a little bit and you're responding to that. But I, but that feels almost like negative and that has a negative connotation. Um, I feel they know, I feel they know how to get to you and it's working. It's working. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to look at the, ex in the extended, just the connection and then the messages all the way around, plus the outcome. We'll see where this goes. If you're interested and you think I'm speaking your storyline, the link to the extended is below. Otherwise, have a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you on a future video. Take care. Bye.